Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I'll be doing the gaming review, battery drain test and the heat test for the Samsung Galaxy M31. But before we get started, these are the benchmark scores. Now this is my current setup. There are two huge lights on either side and phone has currently 100% of battery. And as for the temperature of the phone, on the front it is 34 degrees, at the bottom it is 32, on the back it is 34 degrees and at the bottom it is 32 degrees. Currently there is an AC running in the background at 26 degrees and the current room temperature is 27 degrees. Now I'll start the timer and start the gaming review with Asphalt 9. As you can see, visuals are looking pretty good, details are great and controls are pretty smooth. Well, Asphalt 9 does work pretty smoothly on most phones. Visuals are debatable but gameplay is pretty much very smooth on all the phones. Anyway guys, I've been playing this game for 10 minutes. Now let's check the temperature. On the front, it's about 38 to 39 degrees. At the bottom, it is 36 degrees. On the back, it's about 39 to 40 degrees. And at the bottom, it is 35 degrees. Next, I'll be playing Call of Duty. As you have seen, visuals are good and details are also pretty decent. Controls and overall gameplay is also pretty smooth. Overall, I've been playing this game for 10 minutes. Now let's check the temperature. On the front, it's about 39 to 40 degrees. At the bottom, it is 35 to 36 degrees. On the back, it's about 38 to 39 degrees. And at the bottom, it is 35 degrees. In terms of heating issues, there aren't many heating issues. It does get warm, but it's still manageable. And the temperature of the phone while playing Call of Duty is pretty similar to Asphalt 9. So that's pretty good. Now for the final game. I'll be playing PUBG. Now this phone surprisingly supports HDR graphic settings with ultra frame rate, which is the highest setting available on this phone. So first I'll be playing the game in this graphic settings and then switch to smooth settings. As you can see, visuals are pretty good. Details of the game are pretty good looking. I'd say it looks pretty great, but there's definitely a bit of lag. So it's better to switch to the lower graphic settings. 
Now let's switch to smooth graphic settings with ultra high frame rate. Now as you can see, visuals look ok, but the details are pretty much non-existent, especially when you compare to other graphic settings. Even the colors look faded and dull. But when it comes to the overall gameplay, it's definitely much more smoother and there's no lag. So guys, I've been playing this game for about 10 minutes. Now let's check the temperature. On the front, it's about 40 to 41 degrees. That's the maximum so far. At the bottom, it is 36 degrees. On the back, it's fluctuating from 38 to 40 degrees. And at the bottom, it is 36 degrees. So guys, that's the gaming review. Overall, you can play all the high-end games without any major issues. Obviously, you won't have the best experience at the highest graphic settings, especially with games like PUBG. But if you can lower the graphic settings, you'll have a very smooth experience. As for the battery test, I've been playing games continuously for about 32 minutes and the phone currently has 97% of battery left. So for approximately 30 minutes of gameplay, phone has consumed 3% of battery, which is insanely impressive. Well, considering the battery size, maybe that's to be expected. Anyway, if you're someone who plays games continuously or if you want better battery life, you don't have to worry about that particular aspect with this phone. Now for the final heat test, I'll be taking pictures continuously using both the front and rear cameras for 3 minutes and then check the temperature of the phone. By the way guys, there's still an AC running in the background at 26 degrees and the current room temperature is 27 degrees. Now I'll reset the timer and start taking pictures. So guys, it's been 3 minutes since I've been taking pictures. Now let's check the temperature. On the front, it's fluctuating from 42 to 45 degrees. At the bottom, it is 37. On the back, it's fluctuating from 42 to 45 degrees once again. I've even seen 46 degrees, so that's the highest so far. And finally, at the bottom, it is 36 degrees. Now I'll be using this phone for a minute to check if there is any kind of throttling going on. By the way, guys, I've taken about 363 photos in those 3 minutes, which is a pretty good number. So guys, after using this phone for a minute right after the heat test, there seems to be no lag and everything is still pretty smooth. So guys, that was the heat test in indoor conditions. Phone can reach up to 46 degrees when the room temperature is about 26 or 27 degrees. If it's higher, phone might get even hotter. Normally, you won't be taking pictures continuously. So the chances of your phone getting that hot are really low. So overall, this phone is really good when it comes to gaming, battery life, and there's almost no heating issues with this phone. So guys, what do you think about this phone? Do let me know by commenting below this video and if you have any questions about this phone or anything else, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.